Hello, do you want to know about writing high quality original content for your law firm's website? In this clip, you will learn more about what you need to create content that fits what Google wants in terms of content for the legal profession. If you want to see more Justia videos on law practice and legal marketing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. High quality original legal content. This is what you need to write. So this is what you're going to write. This is what you need to do, though. And you need to do it this You need to do this part because this is what Google wants, especially for legal websites, especially for law firm websites, especially for law, uh, legal content. All right. If you go onto Google, you'll you'll find this statement there. It says, "In Google's mission to organize the world's information, we want to guide Google users to the highest quality content." All right. Let me, let me make sure you understand this. They want users to get to the best content. They want them to get to the best content more than they want them to get to the content with the most links, more than they want them to get to the fastest website, right? They want them to get to the best content. That is the number one thing Google wants. If the content isn't as good, people might start using Bing. So this is a big thing. You know, they've had the Panda updates. They spent a lot of time trying to sort of deal with these other aspects to get people to the best content. And that principle is in their quality rater guidelines. And that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about, the search quality rating guidelines. So Google has testers. I'm sure you're not surprised by that. Uh, these are people that do Google searches and then they go through and they rate the searches, right? They say, is this a good result? Is this not a good result? And they do all types of stuff. It's whether it's the content's correct, whether it's helpful, uh, they'll look at whether it's duplicate content. They'll even look at locality stuff. There's a lot of little details on it. Um, but the main thing is, is that they're looking through and they're looking to find quality content that they feel uh, sort of meet the standards Google wants to, to rank high in the organic results, right? You want to just rank up, go buy a link. You could buy, you know, could do a Google uh, ads. You could buy a placement there for the Google ads. Even that they want to match up with the, uh, they have quality scores that, that they want to sort of match up with the searching. But you could purchase that. Organically, you really need to compete on the quality of your content. So that's something to, to really think about. The good news is it's wide open for law for the most part. Not There's some co competition, but it's not nearly as competitive as you might think. Uh, so this is, but there's a search quality ratings guidelines. It is 172 pages. It's a PDF file. You can get it online. You can actually read it. If you want to read the whole guidelines like I've read, it's, it's great. Uh, there's a lot of detail in there. Um, but it's long. So I'm going to try to get us focused on the stuff that sort of matters uh, to law firms. So what matters to law firms? You can read through the whole thing later. I'll, I'll give you the link in just a bit. Uh, what matters to law firms, one, is that law is a your money or your life type of uh, issue in terms of searches. So your money or your life ones are ones that you know impact uh, people's lives, impact uh, how they live, financial uh, issues. And I'll run through that a little bit. But law is right in the middle of this. They have the highest standards for content for this type of things. This is more than just, hey, here's a collection, you know, here are my photos from my vacation. That one, maybe the quality doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't, you know, it's just pictures, right? And describing the, the beach. Maybe I used the wrong words to describe the beach. Not probably anything that happened. With law, you have the wrong uh, legal information up. That's a big deal. So that's the first thing about it. The second thing is this EAT, which is the expertise of the writer, which can be the law firm, uh, the authoritativeness of the writer or website. Again, it tends to be the law firm website and the trustworthiness of the writer or the website. For most law firms, this is easy, right? This is just, you know, is my website trustworthy, right? Who am I? The credentials and things like that. What I would say is that if you want to score higher on the EAT, one, just being a law, lawyer in law firm is helpful. It gets you like 80% of the way there. But put up your credentials have a good about page or good attorney profiles, sort of show what your expertise is so that when Google sort of look at your website and sort of judging it, they could sort of say, okay, this is this law firm. These are their lawyers. These are the, these lawyers are members of the bar. You know, some of these guys have awards and, you know, different, you know, uh, you know, different expertise that they've shown. They have certain trials that they're featuring and in, in their blog posts and things. Show your expertise on your website. But for the most part, this is easy. The eat part's easy for law firms. Don't, you don't have to worry a lot about it, but make sure that you're, you know, have your credentials and present yourself in your best light. 
should do that anyway. So that's how you get clients, but it also help you with Google. And the last part is beneficial purpose. You know, for the most part, this is straightforward. All oh, when you're writing legal content, you're putting stuff up there, you're trying to help people, right? Maybe some of the help is say, hey, call me, I'll help you, right? That might be part of it. Um, but it's again, not for law firm websites, not too big a deal. Uh, but the, your money or your life is is the big deal here. And here is sort of a, a clip and copy from the the the, uh, uh, the the search quality guidelines. Let's sort of go into the parts that matter. First, it sort of mentions what the topics are for your money or your life is really key to Google. And it mentions law and mentions legal issues. All right. So this isn't just me saying it. This is on the search quality ratings guidelines. They have pulled law out specifically to say we really care about the quality of the content for law. All right. Not a movie review site, not something else. This is law. You got to have quality content. I, I don't know how else to say it. That if there's nothing else you get from this talk, take take your content seriously. Don't treat it as a pure commodity. It it, it actually matters a lot for Google. And it says they have very high page quality rating standards for these uh, your money or life pages, right? So that's this is Google saying this, not just me. They they you know the 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 eat for, for the, you know, the authoritativeness, trustworthiness and expertise. Uh, that also matters a lot. Again, I think this is easy for law firms to do, but show your credentials on your site and that, that will tie in to your money or your life uh, type of, of, of ratings as well. Because if it has I eat, they give you more, it gives you more authority in what you're writing. That said, don't put the wrong stuff up. You gotta be, make sure you're always correct. And here's one thing it mentions legal advice in particular, which I just wanted to pull that part out. All right, no big deal here, other than you, your, your content needs to be of high quality. All right, and then we'll talk about what that means in just a moment. If you wanna read the uh, Google quality ratings guidelines, you can just search that in Google and you'll pull up as a PDF file, or you could go to j.st forward slash gs, and uh, you can get it there as well. So if you just wanna download it uh, now or later, there it's a, a, I know a lot of people like to have a copy of that. All right. So what do we mean though by high quality original legal content? You know, we need some way, we need a systematic way to approach this. So let's sort of walk through this part. First by high quality, it needs to be correct on the law. Number one thing, all right? You cannot have the law wrong. And tax laws change, you know, the state planning laws change, bankruptcy laws have changed. Maybe every once in a while you'll have different, uh, uh, you know, medical malpractice things will change under COVID, you know, in terms of what the, uh, you know, who you can sue and who you can't uh, sometimes. You've got to be up to date and this needs to be correct. You can't not allow your content to become stale and old. And if it is old, at least they better have a date on it. It's like an old blog post, but ideally even an old blog post, you go say, you update your old blog post, say the current state law is this, or this, this law was current as of this date is no longer applies and link to where the current uh, state of law is especially for you know, tax, some of the business stuff, some of the uh, estate types items. Uh, needs to be well-written, spelling grammar checked. All right, use Grammarly, use the spell grammar checker, all right? Don't have misspelled words, you know, get basic, you know, basic, you know, grammar should be there, right? Just use, just, just one of these tools. I mean, I'm a math major, computer science guy, even though I'm a lawyer, uh, but I use Grammarly. It helps, helps with writing emails, right? It has to be pretty easy to read. So try to have some headings in there, try to break up the page a little bit. That's for usability of the page. Um, I'm not trying to you know, add H2s for SEO. I'm just trying to make it readable. Add some headings. Don't worry about the SEO part. We worry about the SEO part for the page name, not for these other parts of the page. Not, not nearly that important, but try to break it up with some headings just so it's readable, right? So at, at a core level. I like to say write 500 to 650 plus words. So first of all, 500 is not an absolute minimum. The Google has not said you have to write 500. In fact, I think Google had a course that said it was 300 and even that's not true. Um, but if you write 500 words, you got a couple of things. One, you're uh, probably gonna write better content because you're writing 500 words. You just have to write more, you tend to spend a little more time on. You write 200 words, it tends to be a lot worse quality. The other part is you, you tend to write stuff that's more unique than what other people write, which I'll be coming on to in a second with the original part. So that part's helpful. Uh, and uh, the, uh, well, let, let me come back to, I'll come back to when I talk to the original part. 
writing up to 650 words, there has been uh, sort of, you know, different documentation of just writing more content on an area up to 650 words actually will increase your rankings for particular terms outside of any other uh, reasons that you might rank higher because you have more words on the page, you're more likely to get different cross link terms, obviously, things like that. But just by writing 650, you actually will rank higher. So up to 650 over that, you might want to split up the pages or you might want a longer page uh, just to get more sort of random collisions of terms. Uh, but let me, I'm going to go with the 500 thing right now because uh, I do think that's, I want to really make that point. Uh, first thing, don't copy large parts of content, right? We've had clients in the past that copied Wikipedia. Not helpful, right? Clients that just copied the statutes. Oh, I put up the statutes from, you know, Nevada. How's that working out? Well, it, it's, they're going to rank Nevada or they're going to rank uh, Justy or Fine Law or other people that have the statutes online. Um, it's not good. It, it's not good. So don't copy big chunks of comment uh, of content. Doesn't mean you can't copy some, but don't copy a lot. Check it on CopyScape. That's just to check for exact dupes, right? If you have a lot of exact dupes, that's a problem. Uh, and if you are going to copy, try to keep a two-to-one ratio. Try to keep more unique content than dupe content. And especially try to keep your unique content in the first 200 words. All right? Now, here's the one thing I want to say about the 500 words. Another reason I sort of like it. When Google's doing searches, right, they're trying to find different pages that have certain high quality stuff and certain and uniqueness, right? They don't want, for example, someone, you have probably 800 pages that talk about what to do after a car accident. All right, make sure everyone's safe, take pictures, you know, get a police accident report, basic stuff. A lot of people write the same thing. If you write a little bit extra, you'll distinguish yourself from other people that have written less. And a lot more people write less than people that write more. So by writing 500 words, you actually make your site, even if you're covering the same stuff the guy wrote with 200 words, you have another 300 words of more unique content that you can add in there. So it makes your page more unique. And then you're more likely to show up because they don't want to show the same exact basic concepts over and over again. So that's that's one reason uh, uh, to, to write 500 words. If you need to write more, add a hypothetical in, add a story in, it's not a big deal. Uh, if you write less sometimes, also not a big deal. But if you uh, the people that have done the best have always tried to write 500 words of content. So if you want to do the best, shoot for that. Make the content legal. All right, so write about your law and legal services, but add some legal analysis. So here's something which I know a lot of people say, just write content aimed at the end user, right? Just do that. Don't do that. Write some real legal analysis to lawyers as well. Go into detail. Put the consumer stuff up front, but put some real legal analysis somewhere within the page so you can sort of show your expertise. For the, those overall search terms, being searched by everybody, searched by lawyers, consumers, everyone else, you have the stuff for consumers up front. You still have the legal analysis. It makes you more of an expert. It makes your page more different than all the other pages showing up. Gives you another chance, another opportunity to be a page that Google wants to rank higher. So add some real legal analysis to it. It's extremely helpful uh, in terms of uh, rankings. Yeah. Always make sure that you're writing stuff that's ethical. Right. Don't there's different rules. Uh, I'll leave that to folks. I shouldn't have to say that, but it periodically occurs. Thanks for watching. Now you have a better understanding of what Google wants in terms of content and how to write it. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more law practice and legal marketing videos. See you in our next clip.